Welcome back. Oh, this is Bailey with Guernsey Shipwrecks, and we're doing something a little different today to spruce up the channel because uh, it's been going a little bit dead at the moment. We wanted to try and spruce it up and go a bit different. Seems to be all the same content coming out. So, down Grand Harve. That's the boat we're going to go out on today. It's Paul Carres, and this is the little bay of Grand Harve. We're heading out that way. We're going to go fishing. So let's go. Look at this, we got a door to walk straight in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, straight out more likely, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, there's only so chance to walk straight in. Look, that's, that's the surprise. Yeah. I'm liking this boat already, Paul. I'm liking it. <laughs> yeah, you wait till you know your gear goes over the other side, 
<laughs> when it starts rolling around. Yeah, yeah, don't leave anything in that area. It's out the door. Yeah, I get up that end, so I, I have got the chance of falling out that end. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wise decision. Okay, because yeah, it came, okay, it was about a metre and a half below that. Yeah, we'll and then bang. I like that plot. Yeah, I'll go to the Yeah, I do like that. It's been a while since I've dived on this side. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Right, here we go, we're getting ready now. Jen and Phil. Okay. So, Good morning. what are we doing? What are we going for? What are we going to see? We're going for a scenic dive tonight. Bit of reef, bit of gravel. Hopefully, you might find a flat here between. Um, well, the west coast. Lucky, yeah. lucky diving. Completely different sort of diving no. to the east coast, really. No wonder That's Guernsey, right back over there. Well, Estimated, I don't know, mile, mile and a bit off the shore. So I better get ready, because I'm going to go in with them. They're going to have to show me the ropes, I haven't been out here in a long time. Lucky dip diving. Yeah, lucky, lucky dip, dip diving. diving, that's what I like about it. Yeah. You just do not know. Never know what you're Go with the flow. Go with the flow, yeah, relax. Yeah. Go with the tide. I'm going to go for a giant stride this time. So Phil and Jen are on a splitter, so they're tied, both tied to the same line so they can swim off sideways and not lose each other. Certainly isn't a shortage in starfish and sea urchins in this area. A couple of minutes to realize what this actually was it looked like the uh, a dead ray that was caught in a net or something if you look at the collar of it but when you get closer it's like a canvas bag it was off a yacht probably a something to hold a sail or something like that it's quite a bit of fabric here here's patrick out of spongebob square pants This looks like a miniature Christmas tree underwater, it's full of collars, there's all sorts of stuff on it, there's starfish, there's different types of coral, uh, soft corals, hard corals, it just looks like a miniature Christmas tree. You can see there's also a cat shark egg.
In this underwater Christmas tree, there's two cat shark eggs, and by the looks of it, squid or cuttle fish eggs as well. These white things to the left. This is my new favourite underwater species, the crayfish. Every available bit of fan coral has got a cat shark egg on it. Three minutes left till deco and I've got to go up. Just having one last little look on the sand to see if I can see any of them. Phil's just caught my attention, he's pointing to something down in the reef. That is a decent sized lobster, but it's his lucky day, because I haven't got time to pick him up. Phil wasn't expecting to see me there, just sneaked up on him. I was going to grab his leg, but nah, decided against it. So Joe, what did you think of that dive? That was awesome. Went down to 33 
3.2 which is good for me this was good and the wildlife everywhere there was urchins mermaid purses soft cut big sponges the yellow sponges it was awesome really good dive yeah, yeah. i enjoyed that one there wasn't that much tide either a bit uh, of tide but it's no, good it's really good yeah loved it maybe a little bit chilly because obviously i'm a proper diver in my wetsuit but it was good love it <laughs> cheers Fingers crossed, we got flatty. Be nice to see one, someone get a, a turbo wervo, as Inglorious would say. I've got to say, I did like that last dive. It's fun, eh? Yeah, that was like diving on the moon. Yeah, it was awesome. It's a yeah. right mixed bag of all sorts, eh? Yeah, no, I did like gullies. it. Oh, it's so much more fish life on so the side yeah. of the island. Yeah, yeah. we caught, caught that lot, uh, the old lobo, just yeah. as you're just oh, about to come up. Yeah. No, you were already on he your was way hidden up. down a, a little gap in the reef. Oh. We did well, Jeff, for your first deepest dive. Yeah. No, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Well, you look comfy down there. You yeah. did look very yeah. comfortable down there. Happy days. Yeah. Good trainer, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got any fash? Can I not fall out of the boat? Yeah, don't do that, Jen. Safety first. Safety before footage, as I say. Tide start, the tide start to pull a bit harder, you can see on that buff. Did you get any fish? Yeah. Oh well. Did you have a good dive though? Nice. That's all that matters. Oh, there's scullies. There's enough for Paul to have a sandwich. It's not quite what it was. It's not quite viable. No? No, but it's not. So the scallop bed. Not as fruitful as it should be. No, not as it was a few years ago. I wonder why. Phil Warren, that's did, did, did the harvest come early? Phil Warren. <laughs> this is the heart of the boat. Recovered from a private yacht that went up in Rustale. Yeah. Can't say any names, but look at it now. Instead of that rotting on the seabed, it's been reused. Repurposed, well not repurposed because it's got the same purpose. But it lives another day. Another day, another day. It's been upcycled. Upcycled, that's the word. And now we are off to the buffet. That's where we're going. And that's how you spell buffet. Hoppets. 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 Yeah, is it, would you call it the Suzanne or the Suzoin? Suzanne. Yeah, it's spelled, it's spelled Suzanne. Yes. But some of the boys out of Cowboy call it the Suzoin. Yes. I'm going fishing at the Suzoin. Sandy at the we'll be doing the buffet backwards, so if there's tide, we can end up with a happy ending in the reef. So. Yeah, so we'll come up here, from here, this way, and these are rocks yeah. and reefs. That's the way I've always done it. Oh, backwards? Yeah, well, I've, I've done it three or four times, it's always been that way. And we tend That's to get the there. fish towards here, not over here. But I have seen undulate right there. Yeah, they are undulates. Undulates, yeah. 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 And fingers crossed, we've seen mermaid's purses, so we might see some rays. Possibly a shark. A toad would be good, but I'm not holding my breath. No. Number one rule of diving, don't hold your breath.
His claim to fame was the fact that Oliver Reed at once owned it, the famous actor. The seabed here is literally like a sand dune. It's uh, very wavy where the tide has been passing over the top of it. Very, very nice soft sand. Unfortunately, we didn't see any rays or any flatfish, but one thing we did see is uh, Another shanker hidden behind a reef. Oh, and a load of sea urchins and starfish again. Jen did point out a really nice gurner to me and a cat shark, but for some reason it was corrupt footage. <laughs> One technique for looking for flatfish on this type of seabed is you swim up in the troughs. Normally, and I say normally because I hardly ever see them, but there's uh, flatfish uh, hidden on the reverse side. So any, any bait that comes and swims over the top of the reefs or over the top of the ridges, it's really there to bite it when it's coming down the other side. Tiny baby jelly. This jellyfish is an absolute beast. It's huge. Look at his tentacles hanging down. They're going to be five foot long. Wow, what did you think about the seabed on that? That was like diving in a desert, that one. First one was like diving in a moon, the second was like diving in a desert. We're just heading back down the other. Head back down the line. Yeah. Down to Paul now, Phil, to get a fish for us. I came up with a blankety blank. Yeah, I didn't see anything there. No. I seen a small dogfish and I seen a turbot. Uh, no, a, not a turbot, a gurnard. Gurnard, some fish. Yeah. Got a blankety blank. of what we were looking for. That's alright. No stress now. Over the ball, see if we can pull it out the bag. What's that one called? Rooster Mare. Rooster Mare. Rooster Mare. Rooster Mare. Rooster Mare. Rooster Mare. 
So if we don't make it, we're at Rooster Mare. Good life, boat. Thank you, guys. And I wonder why there's so many shipwrecks up the west coast. Oh, savage. Look at it. Du Mare is of the sea. So this is part of Roos that's in the sea. Oh, yeah. yeah, you wouldn't want to hit that. In the dark you will not see that. We're at the top of the tide now, aren't we? So. Yeah. Top of the tide. Yeah, spring. You get a big spring and that's just under the water. Yeah. Coming back into Grand Half. Here's our lift home. The pier that we're flying over there no longer exists. Not on this side, not on the top of the water anyway. Sorry mate. We debunk all cool our stuff into there and then Are we to get in as well? Yeah. I get in the stern now. Okay. Otherwise we're going down. Yeah. We don't want to go down. And here they go. And basically, <laughs> it's all for one, eh, Paul? <coughs> free board. Yep. Zero. Zero, zero, zero free board. It's, it has been known. I don't think it was something once ago. Okay. Yep. I don't think it was something yet. Yeah. Go. Oh, you going? You're going the wrong way. Yeah, Captain Carey's going to back over the top of the pier now, by the looks of it. Pull! 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 Stroke! Push! 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 Yeah. Push! Put your back into it, action! Put your back! That's where that lives. Yeah, thanks for taking us out, Paul. I really enjoyed that. Really good dive. Loved it. Both of them. Two completely different um, sceneries, really. It was like the moon and then the desert. But I loved it. Yeah, that was awesome. One lonely spider crab just crawling across the desert. Now we need to refuel. And get, yep, get, get some, lunch. some food inside us. And just like that, the weather turned. I was going to do my outro, but then it just started hammering it down with rain. Anyway, that was a bit different, that one. Uh, we've seen 
different people, different boats, different ports, completely different sceneries, uh, slightly different fish. We didn't see any big rays, we didn't see any turbots, but you know, that's not to worry. We'll just have to go again and try and film some another day. I'd like to welcome some new subscribers now. Um, also, if you like the footage and you think there's someone else you know that might like it, please share it on social media. Um, I'm getting a bit of a bit of a feel for the channel now. I sort of know what works and what don't work, but I want to push it on. I want to get it. I want to get more people. I want to take more people with me. It's all about making the experience as if you're looking over my shoulder, um, experiencing things I'm experiencing, and trying to portray or trying to put across the emotions and stuff. The, the fact that it's nice and quiet and it's serene and there's stuff there that you never normally get to see. Um, you know, the fish are just sitting there waiting in a way and corals just feeding on their own everything's a lot slower a lot slower pace of life uh which is the sort of pace of life i want to be living at but the world's a different place the world's the world's a lot faster now um it's just the way it is uh it's all about getting it done getting stuff sorted but i've got my nice little vent my little hobby my little sport the go out go diving enjoy myself spend it with friends um, just take your time it's good it's what you need good for, for good for mental health um, it's just generally good I love it absolutely love it and that's why I like to film it I like to record it I like to bring people along with me I like to uh, hopefully we can build a big catalogue up and in 20 years time when I can look back at the videos uh, with fun memories, I'm sure I will. Um, we dive with people that ain't going to be around forever. So I like to catch Keeney, I like to film Keeney, I like to film my friends, I like to join along, I like to, I like to watch people enjoying themselves um, and just having a good time. And that's what diving's all about. Uh, it's a brilliant sport. Um, I recommend it to anyone. And for the people that can't do it because of age or um medical illnesses or a lot of people that can do it because their ears uh just follow me just follow my page that's what that's what it's all about but take people along take people with me um and that's what i'm offering that's what my channel is that's what i'm trying to offer to people come out enjoy yourself uh try and go different places see different things experience stuff um there's people that live in Guernsey that probably have never seen the seabed out there. A lot of the times I haven't seen the seabed. Probably no one's seen the seabed sometimes. But that's what it's all about. Um, thanks for joining us. And I will catch you on the next tide.